guys, it's November 4th, 2020. This one here, I gotta go do a gas boiler service for the guy. He's got a gas boiler. And uh, he wants me to go over there and make sure it's running right. Clean the burners and whatnot, you know, give the once over. So we'll try to get you some shots. We'll probably clean the burners, do a combustion test on it, make sure it's okay. Slap the guy with a bill. That's definitely bad because it's leaking. How you doing? Good to see you again. Yeah, you got a bad, uh, see it's leaking out the relief valve. Okay. But that means that this tank is bad. Oh. That's okay. what the deal is. Most likely that tank's bad, guaranteed. That's why that's that's leaking there. And uh, looks like you got a new feeder. All right, so we're going to drain it down. I'm going to get my other tool kit. Okay. I thought you just wanted to do a burner cleaning on it, well, but you, I, you got more than that. Yeah, well, yeah, but you can't I, leave it like that. No. No. Okay. Got the feeder off. I'll drain it right through this. Burners off. Might as well bypass all these now. I'm gonna need it to purge it after. These two zones. Might as well just do it now. This thing like flipping, hanging in the wind here. Should be able to should be able to change that. I don't know. I might have to uh, it's gonna come out of my look at this here. See how gotta change that relief belt. Might as well do that right away. That's gonna that's gonna be changed. I got a new one. Once the relief valve stop leaking like that, you should change them. See if it comes out with the whole nipple comes out. <clears throat> I know the tank's bad. Guarantee the tank's bad. Guarantee there's water in that tank. Might be some water coming out of this thing. I need to get under this thing and see if I can loosen it. This is the tool I use. It's really thin. It fits right in there. All 
and I'll put a piece of pipe on this if I have to. I got a piece of one inch copper. I got a piece of one inch copper that I flattened out and it slides right on it. It's probably two feet long. I get leverage with the with the piece, right? There it goes. See that long piece of copper? That's what I use for leverage. Sometimes you need leverage. You can take a piece of inch and a quarter, or one inch. Inch and a quarter is probably better. It's a little sloppier. I'm gonna have to get underneath this thing because it's gonna be full of water. I'm just gonna make sure it's coming off before I get under it. Ways to go, yeah. It's gonna be heavy. Put it that way, it's gonna be really heavy. It's gonna be really heavy. Brace yourself. That's oh, one heavy one, Mr. Grinch. It's a heavy one, Mr. Grinch. She's a crusty one, Mr. Grinch. A little Fritz on there, Mom, a little dope. Doesn't even the gauge isn't even moving. I might have another gauge. I might have something else I could put in there. Let me see. I might have a used one maybe or something for this beast. That's not even working. She's a licker. Sometimes if I do a boiler job, I'll, if they're good gauges, I'll save them for a job like this. Get the guy a little bit of a discount, because I'm... I'm trying to keep this usually aren't, aren't that cheap. I think I might have a loose one in here, I'm not sure. Maybe. Should have a, you could have a pressure gauge, a working pressure gauge. This one should work. Let's sell this one. Well, I'm here, it's not working. I might as well change it, right? Really need a good working gauge there. feeding so we have both both zones open so 
So what's happening is it's coming in the supply. It's coming in the supply, going up through the system, coming back the return, and out the hose, because it can't go back the boiler, right? You can back, back flush it, but just purging it for now. Give it a, give it a good purge. Then we could check the burners and do the service on that part of it, right? Sometimes you gotta take this nut off to get more throw on this thing. You notice I opened up the, uh, the zone heads, eh? Bypass the zone heads before, right? Because if not, it won't work. You have to bypass manually open the zone heads. Sometimes you gotta take that nut off for this thing to give enough throw. Manually open. I had one. I had one in the truck, and I also had a relief valve, and I changed the triticator because that wasn't working. Okay. So what's the triticator? Triticata? Yeah, Triticata. That, 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 um... The Triticata is pressure and temperature, but you can see it's got pressure on it and there's no pressure on it. See the pressure? Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see that. So it's not reading the pressure. Right. So I, I had, a, had to use one in the truck. We put that on there. Oh, you gotta, you gotta have, you gotta have a proper reading um, gauge so you can see what's happening with the system, right? right? I mean, it's it's imp kind of important. Now we're purging the zones. We're gonna get all the air out, mm -hmm. and then then I could do the cleaning. I usually have all the stuff in the truck, so it's not not a big issue, right? Change the water heater over there. Did you do that handy work? Friend of mine did it. Okay. Don't look too bad, I guess. That's why I put a new tank. A new relief valve, okay. and uh, we replaced the triticator. Okay. Well, good for another 10, right? I don't know, until it starts leaking. Once it starts leaking, you're kind of done with it, right? I can't give you um, an estimated lifespan because what happens if I say 10 years and it only lasts a year, then you sue me. Lady was buying a house. So he went in there and says, oh, you get, another, you get another 15 years out of this boiler, he says, right? Yeah. The thing died within six months. She, she took him to court and sued him. She got a brand new system out of him. Wow. Ain't that something, huh? Yeah. So when I, after I heard that story, it's like I ain't going to tell, I ain't going to give no, no um, an estimated maybe, but there's no guarantees, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> no guarantees.
up here from we were down in Florida. Oh, okay. But we only lived there for about a year and a half. Then came back. You didn't like it? Too hot and humid. You didn't like Florida? No? No. Oh, ain't this a ain't this a special piece of junk? Hoping she should fire. Has it been heating? Yes. Yeah. Well, maybe the, the, the thermostats are not. Well, why don't you go turn up the thermostats? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Isn't this thing special? Wow, she's she's glowing. Isn't she special? Check the combustion on it. See what it's doing. This is one of those that's a flipping job and I have to take apart. I'm surprised the CEO ain't, CEO ain't going crazy on this thing. And the way to get this thing apart is take it all apart and you gotta pull this whole drawer assembly out. It's a pain in the ass. I think it's running clean. She's running clean and lean to me. Don't even work for them fucking companies. No. I won't, no. So you're just gonna waste your money getting a warranty, and then if you ever need anything done, they're not gonna want to pay anybody. That's how they that's how it works. So don't waste your money. Right. New expansion tank, relief valve, tridicator, and combustion test. It's running clean so it's not all full of salt or anything in there, so we're good. Good girl, let her rip. There you go. Let her rip. All right, come on. Come on.